Hello everyone, I am Rohit and this is the day 17 of the admin training. In this day we will talk about that application and module. So we know that what is the application and what is the module. We will talk about that how we can modify the application, how we can create a new application and then we will discuss about the module, how we can create the module, all those stuff. So let's go back to the service now and let's understand that what is the application and how we can create that application and module. So if you remember that this is a personal environment and here we can see these all are application, right? So these all are application. Now today we'll talk about that how we can create our own application and then inside that if you see here each application have a several modules. We'll talk about that how we can create the modules. Simply to modify or update or create any application you need to be go to the application um, menu option. So type that application here in the left side. And if you see in the system definition, under the system definition, there is a module called application menus. So if you click OK, you will be able to find out that list of application which are active right now. So let's understand that how we can create a application. So let's side, you can see there are several applications. Now let's create a new application. Let's say that demo application. So I'll click new and here I need to put the title. So let's say that I'll put that uh, demo title this uh, application so left side there will be application will be created like self service there will be application created called demo title and then here we have to define that role so if you don't define any role this application will be accessible by everyone so let's say that I'm selecting that role equal to ITIL so the user who have ITIL role they will be able to see this app uh, this application called demo title and here you can put other stuffs like uh, hint, description, all those details. So I'll not select anything, I'll just save that. So our demo title application will be created and under this we have to be define the modules. If you see here, the under the self-service we have various modules, right? Similarly, we can create the application and under the application we can create the modules. So let's put that modules name. So we'll click new and then we'll create a new module called my incident or any kind of uh, module you want to create you can do that so for the demo purpose i'll put that my title or my incident so this is my uh, module name so this is the application name i have put the demo title under the demo title there will be a uh, menu these all are menu the menu or module will be the my incident and here i'll put the order equal to 10 so these things will be run as a order here also you can define the roles. If you don't define the role, it will follow under application role. So for example, if the application have read access to the ITL user, this module will be able to access by ITL user. Now here, the link type is important. So what you want to show in that application, right? For example, if you want to show the list of record, you can select the list of record. If you want to show any assessment, you can show that if you want to uh, show some HTML, you can do that. If you want to create a new record, you can do that. We'll discuss in a uh, little bit later. For the time being, we are selecting the list of record. Now, if you hear, we need to, once you select the list of record, there is a field mandatory called, uh, you know, incident. So we'll select that uh, incident here. Okay. We'll select this table name called incident. And here you can define the particular view. And here you can define the filter. So for which filter, any specific filter, if you want to do that. So I'll say that assigned to is me. Okay, so assigned to and then dynamic is and I'll select that myself. So here the module will be my incident and then whatever assigned incident, assi incident is assigned to me, all the incident should be shown here. Let's save this uh, module also. Now what we did actually, so let's understand in a bit what we have done so far. We created a application called demo title, right? Application called demo title. Under this demo title, we have created one module. So we have created one module called my incident and that will show all the incident that is assigned to myself. So let's uh, refresh that. We'll refresh this here and go back to the home maybe. And here if you search with the demo title, here you can see the demo title module is there and under this demo title, we have a options called incident and once we click the my incident, 
it will show the list of incident that is assigned to myself or system administrator although there is no incident at that moment to myself so that's the reason there is no uh, you know incident is showing let's assume that your customer give a scenario like you need to be show the demo title after self service application and then before activity subscription so let's understand that this demo title uh, application will be visible in between self service and activity subscription how do we achieve that to achieve this if you see the demo title will be little lower somewhere in the bottom okay so how we can do that that we have to be think here right to do that what do we have to do we have to again go to the system um, you know we have to go to this again application menu this module under this application menu if we go here we'll find out that first first application the first application is the self service so we'll search with the self service see the self service order is a 50 right and then let's find out that activity subscription so if i search with the activity subscription this order is a 100 now i need to put between self service and activity so i can put the order demo title in between those uh, you know any of these so here i'll put that demo title order instead of 100 i'll put the 70 so it means that 50 is a self service 70 will be demo title and then activity definition will be uh, 100 and you can see now demo title application is visible so this way you can actually rearrange their order to show you in between some of this application now if i search or uh, refresh that you can see the demo title is present after self service so let's say that your application is ready right now right so if you want to rename there or if you need to be repositioned there what you can do either you can directly go to this application menu here like directly here and you can update that title here directly from here or else there is a right side there is a one option called edit application this option is only visible for admin so admin can directly edit the application from here they can click here and you will simply land to this particular uh, you know application and here i can say that uh, demo class so i want to instead of a demo title i want to put this application um you know called demo class once we save that this class name is changes and or this application name is changes and you can see it's automatically refreshed you don't need to do anything the application once you put that this application will be directly uh, automatically refreshed and showing that here called demo class under this application we have a one uh, you know uh, module called my incident and uh, this is showing that assigned to all my um, incident that is assigned to myself all this incident now if i click new again the module there are various types of um, modules available and if you see the link type there are various types of link uh, available for example i will show you very commonly used the very commonly used is list record then here you have a options called new record you can select that once you select the new record it means that if you want to create a new record right for example create new module so we can do that okay for example this module name i will put that create new book okay and now remember that we have created a new uh, table called book table under that we'll select the table equal to book table so we'll select the table equal to book okay so it means that if somebody click that application or module they will be able to create a new uh, book record let's see so we just have saved that and this time we have not put any order so let's say that we'll put the order equal to 20 so once i you can see that i have not put any order that's the reason this order was stayed and this was no order it was showing in the top let's put the order equal to 20 so that after my incident the new create new books application will be visible so we just save that it should auto refresh and show after my incident and and you can see this module is visible now if somebody click this create new books module they will be able to actually create a new record or new book record directly from this application like we we do right create incident so we type the incident and from the incident we can create directly incident right so we, we type the incident and here we have the options called create new incident right 
similarly we can create our own um, application called books or uh, demo class and under the demo class we have created a new application called create new book so let's search again our demo class so you can see i'll click again edit application now here there is one more interesting thing that you can create the separator and that is very uh, uh, commonly used for example if you go here and then go to this activity uh, subscription under this activity subscription you can see there are uh, sub application or you can see sub module right and they are collapse seven so these all are we call the separator okay so let's see how we can create the separator go to this application like here click here it will go to this application menu and then bottom you click the new and then here we'll put that call let's say that uh, configuration and here we can this time we can put this order equal to 50 and then after that we can put that here type equal to separator and save that so once we save that there will be one uh, module will be created called configuration and you can see this configuration uh, separator is not visible why because under this configuration we have not put any module or anything that's the reason it is not showing right now so let's say that we'll click again new button and here we can put like let's say that book list okay so we'll select the book list and this time again we will select that list of record and we'll select the book here and uh, order will be after 50 so i want to show after separator so we'll select that order equal to 70 and save that once we save that system should automatically refresh and show one separator inside the separator there should be one this is a separator inside the separator this module is available called book list you can see this is a book list so this way you can create your own application you can design that and you can use that now let's say that i want to go to like i want to create a application so that somebody click that they want to redirect to a particular or automatically redirect to a particular page particular record or particular website uh, external website how can we do that so for example i want to create an application so that um uh, somebody click that they will go to this my website called snow expert Royal. how can we do that we'll copy this here and then go to this demo class here now you can see order here bottom 10 is that my incident 20 is the create new book my incident create new book after that separator called 50 and then list of books now I'll click the new after 70 I need to be put any order let's say that I will say that uh, my website okay and here the type I will select that URL and here I will uh, put this my website like this so here I put my website name and then order I'll put that 80 and save that once I save that there will be one more a module will be created called my website automatically and once i click that it should uh, and i should be able to view this my website here and you can see i am able to view my website in a iframe into here in in my service new application let's assume that or let's understand that i want to open in a new tab right so what i'll do under the window i'll put that underscore blank here and save that so it means that it should be open a new tab not in the same tab and let's click here in this my uh, website application and so once i click that now we can see it is opening in a new tab so this way you can you can uh, redirect to external website if you want so if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day